If you're going to buy Madden 21 Mutt Coins, don't buy expensive Mutt Coins. Go to Game Rusher and get a 6% discount. Just click on the first link down in the description below and put in my discount code HO for a 6% discount. All you have to do is go down in the description, the top link in my description. You will see GameRusher.com. Click on that link. And when you come to the page, you'll see PC, uh, coins for PS4, and coins for Xbox One. Let's say you wanted some PS4 coins. Look at those great prices, guys. Look at the wonderful prices. 150K muck coins for the PS4. Let's say you wanted that for $8.83. But wait a minute. You haven't even entered my 6% discount code yet. You want to click on Add to Cart. You want to check out. And right here in this box, you're going to enter my 6% discount code, H-O. You're going to apply. Apply the coupon. Go down here and place your order, and you'll be ready to open a lot of packs. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they this all the time. Oh, they Hello, everybody. It's your boy, Hollywood Sports, bringing you another video guys i want to do a breakdown of what this play you know this play is called it's in a shotgun formation it's called cluster halfback strength cluster halfback strength mesh post mesh post guys it's a mesh concept i normally run this play second medium third mediums between five and eight yards that's when i try to use this play because of the route combinations and and, and how the defense how people are trying to I, I, I want to use it on third, but I use it on mediums, guys, because people don't know how. You, when you get to medium yards, people start thinking about trying to prevent you from getting that first down, right? Long plays, people probably think, oh, yeah, yeah, now I, I got more space. I'm, not, I'm more relaxed. And when you get in that medium range between five and eight yards, people get it more intensified on defense. And that's what I like about this play. Let me go ahead and get to it. Again, it's in a shotgun formation. Let's see. There we go. Gun cluster. And it's right there in the middle, guys. Mesh post, okay? It's a mesh post. Now, I'm going to explain the concept. No, I got the wrong one. I got the wrong one. Oh, there it is. Mesh post. I was saying mesh post, but I was looking at the wrong one. That's just plain mesh right there in the middle. But here's mesh post at the top, all right? Now, okay, that's what I'm going to pick, guys. And let's welcome the Minnesota Vikings to our practice facility. You know, I, li I, I like playing, I like practicing against different teams around the league. Because, you know, a lot of times when you're playing, guys, you don't get to see a lot of teams, especially online. Because uh, everybody plays with the same teams, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to, this play works good against cover three. But I like to practice in, in random play. Because... You got to be versatile with your plays. You got to know how to use your route combinations and who's the primary second. Go through your progressions on any defense. Man coverage, cover two, cover three. It's all about reading the defense and going through your progressions before the snap and after the snap. Now, let me pull up the play art here. Now, the great thing about this play is, guys, you see Sims on the right and you see McLaurin on the left. They are running those routes right across the middle, right? Now, those are going to hold the linebackers, okay? This is what I mean by great route combination. Now, this looks like a cover three. And that's why I say it looks, it works good against a cover three. Now, you also have, you got Thomas right there, our tight end, number 82. He's going to go in motion to the left. Now, I'm going to show you a con, I'm going to show you how, depends on what defense we come up against. I'm going to explain to you, we're going we're gonna to break it down. Now, guys. This play is about reading your coverage. It's a great play if you go. It's got great route combinations to, based on the defense. You got you can have different ways to run it based on the defense. Now I'm looking right here. You see enemy. He's gonna be running the actual post. He's my primary receiver. Emmon on the right side. Okay, so Emmon is gonna be my first read. Now if I see him being covered, then I'm gonna go across the middle between McLaurin or Thomas. Now, a lot of times, you know, people like to be, 
have that mic right there in the middle. People like to play in the middle, right? They like to use it in the middle. And sometimes, depending on how um, those uh, safeties, I mean, those those corners play, right? Or the safeties come up in the box sometimes, you may be able to check it down to McKenzie, okay? So let's run the play, guys. That's enough talking. Let's run the play. All right, here we go. Okay, Thomas goes in motion. My primary is aiming on the right side. I didn't like what I saw, so I went down across the middle. Guys, this is a great play. You have options on this play. Okay, now, you see how the defense is lined up, okay? Now, let's, let's see, I always look at the defense. I always pull up my route tree, my play art. I kind of get an idea before the snap, then you get an idea after the snap. Again, but my primary read is Emmett on the right, and I got Sims and McLaurin coming across the middle. Now, I'm going to show you a way. Now, Thomas, we'll, we'll go through that based on the defense. Okay, here we go. He goes in motion. All right, that was a good play right there. Now, let's break this one down. <laughs> this is a great play, guys. I, I, man, I'm telling y'all, man, this is a great play. Now, if you if you get in your playbook and you find plays that has good route combinations to to pull certain players on defense, man, you can you can run a great offense. Okay. Now let's break it down. Here we go. Thomas has already came across in motion. So that's one thing about replay. It doesn't replay the motions in the game. That's another improvement I guess Madden can do. Thomas is already in motion on the left side. Okay. You see Emmon. He's got the coverage. Now you see how my middle, my middle guys, you see how Sims and McLaurin is coming across the middle, kind of pulling those linebackers inside, which leaves my, my open route open. Okay. Now you got you got number 82 Thomas when he came across. He's clearing, he's, he's pulling people to the left side. Then you got McKenzie, the halfback, pulling people to the right side. Okay? They got to cover it, guys. And look, wide open. I, I'm already anticipating because I see him open right here. About right here, I see him gonna break open based on how they plan. I'm anticipating. Great play, guys. Great play. Now, let me show you something. It's very important because this guy right here, he's see, he, these two guys are watching McKenzie come out of the backfield, right? So sometimes you really got to watch this guy. Sometimes he may play back here. If he plays back here on this play, then you got your man's coming across the middle. You got him and you got him, okay? So that's how we ran that play, guys. Now, let's look at the defense. On, let's look at the defense again. Okay, kind of similar, kind of similar defense. Okay, let's run the play. I want y'all to see the play art now. Primary receiver, Emin on, M, M on the right. Here we go. Read, read, read. Across the middle. There you go. You can't lose with this play, man. You're going to get yards with this play, guys. You're going to get yards. This is a great play. Now, the user, the user is most likely going to grab those guys down the middle. Every time. Every time. Okay, now, let's look at it again. All right? Now, a lot of times, I'll show I'll show it in the replay before I run the play. Okay, here we go. Again, primary, aiming on the right side. I don't see him. Being clear, don't force it. You're going to get some yards, guys. Easy. Easy. Okay? Now, the reason why I run this on medium, you're probably going to say, man, you're picking up a lot of yards. But I run it on medium because I want the defense to suck in. Again, they get nervous when you start getting close to that first down, right? They're going to play a tighter defense, okay? They're most likely going to suck those middle linebackers in, okay? Now, one of the things I want to say about it, hold on, let's go to the replay real quick. The one thing when I, I don't even look at, look at him and the guys that go, go to, I mean, Thomas that goes in motion right here. Now watch him on this play. Usually I don't go to him unless there's one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside right here. But he's bracketed right here. Most likely he's going to be bracketed. But sometimes you'll see he has one-on-one -on -one coverage. I'll hit him at the right time, anticipate, if I if I think that's going to be a look. But see, they bracketed him right there. Okay? Again, like I said, this play works really good on cover three, guys. But you see, they're not playing cover three right now. 
They either plan to cover two. Yeah, they're playing cover two. Most likely, they play. Now, cover two is really good against this. But again, if you go through your progressions, you're going to find the open receiver. Again, all I'm doing, guys, is going looking at Emmon on the right side, circle, and I'm going to hit Sims and McLaurin. Okay? Now, we're going to look at some plays where I look at McKenzie, too. All right? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. And I'm going to show you. I meant to go to McKenzie on this play. And you, if you hit him on a run, man, you you talking about a big play. <laughs> guys, I'm being straight up, man. This this is not rehearsed. This ain't nothing, guys. This is a play I run all the time. You just got to make the right read. Now, watch McKenzie, number 41, in the backfield. Look at him. Look, 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 look. Why, why? Let's put it on here, McKenzie. Look, look, look at this room. Look at this room here. Look at that. Look at that. Look. That's where I meant to go. <laughs> Sometimes you got to take a quick glance out of your eyes. When you, again, I told you the important, the important person you want to watch on this play is this guy right here. But look what he does. He comes inside. Bam. McKenzie is wide open. I can hit him on a run right here. Look at that. Look at that feel. Come on, y'all. This play has so many options, man. So many. Okay, now look look at that safety come up in the come up in there. See? Okay, now. Most likely he's gonna have one-on-one -on -one coverage with enemy. Okay. Now one thing about Madden, I'll show you in the next. I wish you could I wish I could bring up the circles in the replay and I wish I could diagram right here. I, I should give me a program. Okay. Because I told you the man you need to pay attention to, the most important person. Okay, here we go. Alright, I already know I'm not going to Thomas on that play on the left side. There's a chance McKenzie be, be open, but I'm going through my natural progressions on this plate. Emmon, McLaurin, and Tom, I mean, Sims. Okay, here we go. Voila, 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 voila. I told you it was going to be one-on-one -on -one coverage back there. Didn't I tell you? Let's look at it. All right, let's take a look at it, guys. Once you get used to the looks, see, that's one good thing about running. See, that's why I, I play with the same playbook all year long because I my vision starts to get used to what's what's what. If you keep changing playbooks every time you play, oh, I'm gonna play Dallas playbook, or I'm gonna use Philadelphia's playbook. You can't you can't learn the plays, and that's why people run the same plays over and over and over because they don't know their playbooks. Get stick find one playbook that you like and stick with it, okay? And you'll you'll start learning it and, and feeling it, man. Start learning that playbook, and that's how you get good, guys. You'll be pulling out plays people have never seen before, okay? Because everybody in madness, monkey see, monkey do. Everybody starts running the same plays because that's all they see. But you get into a good playbook, man, and you start learning some stuff with good route combinations. You'll be you'll you'll, you'll, you'll kill people. Okay, let's, let's check it out. Look at that. Now, a lot of times in Madden, guys, if you see guys stacked right behind each other, that means one is going to blitz and one is in coverage. Every single time. That's a tip. That's a deep, that's an offensive tip for you. I mean, a how to read the defense tip for you. Usually when they're stacked behind somebody, somebody's there to grab the coverage and the other guy's going to blitz in. Okay? Look at it. They all, see, I, these guys. See, when Thomas comes in motion right here, you got McLaurin on the outside. That stack's still upside, okay? <laughs> they don't have, they don't have, they got these guys up in a box right here. You got these guys up in a box right here, okay? So I knew they were coming. Guess what? That leaves one-on-one -on -one coverage. <laughs> that leaves one-on-one -on -one coverage for Edmund right here. Now, my franchise... I got a faster guy that I go to my formation subs. I put Robert Foster on the outside right here because he got a 94 speed. You get you put the man on the outside with that speed right there, man. He's gone to the house. Look at this guy. Look, 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 look. I see it automatically right here. Now look at this guy. He has to watch McKenzie. Look at this one. <laughs> look at my crosses right here. Look. They're occupying these guys right here in the middle. Now, also, if I had to look a little longer, but it takes, and man, you don't have too much time. 
I thought he was going to, this guy was going to bracket, but you can see he's coming across, he's grabbing the guys across the middle. And that's one-on-one -on -one coverage to Emmitt. Great catch, great throw by Alex Smith, man. Beautiful play. All right, guys, that's it, man. I'm going to run one more. This video has been long enough, man. We're going to run one more, guys, and we're going to see. This time, I'm going to look for uh, Thomas coming across in motion. I just want y'all to see how it looks, even if it's not open. That was a good throw right there. That was a good throw right there. But see, that's another option. All right, guys, let me know what you think, man. Again, this play is, man, is a shotgun cluster, halfback strength. It's a mesh post. It's a mesh concept, guys. I don't know what other playbooks they're in. I, I don't want to go look in every playbook. I don't know how people find out those things, man. Maybe they go look in all the play playbooks, but I know it's in Washington playbook. But I'm pretty sure it's in a lot, a lot of other playbooks, guys. You just got to find it. Again, it's called, it's in a shotgun formation, cluster halfback strength, some mesh posts, and mesh concept. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Man, if you did hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit everything on the screen, and I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah.